Hello there, hello, my name is Chris Callahan and I am a children's author and I want to say a huge big hello and thank you to class 4LDEP. That's quite a name for a class, isn't it? And that's a class in Kingsley Primary School. So hello to everybody there, because I have received a whole load of letters from you. Look at all of these. Look at all of these fantastic letters that I've read. And I have read them all. So thank you very much for these, for these letters. And can I first of all just say, wow, what an impressive lot of writers you really are. And the passion and enthusiasm that you have is staggering it's it's I've, I've loved reading those letters i've read them a few times because i've just gone over them and over them because there's so much in there so thank you i mean i'll, I'll give you you know i mean you, you you love your reading or some of you i mean you talk about how not everybody loves a reading which is true but some of you are saying uh, there's somebody here saying reading is as magical as a shimmering rainbow reading is as amazing as the stars in the sky reading is like a magic carpet that takes you to mysterious lands i mean that's a great wow what a what a fantastic description there and also you've quoted somebody called walt disney as well somebody else has i mean you know walt disney certainly knows about stories doesn't he and um walt disney apparently said there is more treasure in books than on treasure island so yes well th Thank you for all those amazing letters. I have just loved reading them. And I hear that you are about to read or or maybe already starting to read my story called The Great Chocoplot. Um, so, well, thank you very much for choosing to read The Great Chocoplot. I hope it doesn't make your tummies rumble too much because it's about, if I'll, I'll just, uh, just if you haven't started it yet, I'll tell you how it starts. In six days, there will be no more chocolate in the world ever. <gasps> So yes, so I wonder what you think. So this is basically a story about how the world goes a little bit crazy when chocolate starts to run out. So you've got to think, what would you do in that situation? Would you panic? Would you store up lots of chocolate? Would you eat lots of chocolate? What would you do if the choc apocalypse, the end of chocolate, was coming? So that's something for you to think about while you, and you know, hopefully enjoy reading my story. But yes, as you say, reading is very important and... And you've obviously done your research and you know that I talk a lot about reading because when I was your age, I didn't read much. I really, really struggled with reading. I could read, but I found a lot of reading very boring. It was it was hard work for me to read. Um, you know, I was always distracted by other things. I always had lots of things going on in my head. My imagination was always kind of working. And I think sometimes that gets in the way of reading, doesn't it? Um <clears throat> I mean, I'll, I'll show you one of the very first books that I chose to read. And I, I got this book from the library. This isn't the library book that I did borrow. I haven't stolen it all those years later. This is a book I bought years later, or a few years ago, so I could read with my daughter. But it's, uh, so this is one of the very first books that I, I chose to read, The House That Sailed Away by Pat Hutchings. And it's a very silly book about a house that does sail away and they have lots of crazy adventures. But, but even then, you know, I didn't carry on reading I still I still struggled with reading and my school you know I, mean, I went to school a long time ago so things were very different then not as not as good as your schools that you have now um, but my school we read lots of you know books that just didn't engage me at all and I, and it wasn't until I was really older on that I started to read and then I discovered the real magic of books and I and I wish that I'd read more books when I was your age so it is wonderful to hear how passionate you are about reading and about encouraging other people to read and I know that schools and your school is having budget problems as you all said there yes we're all having those kind of issues aren't we lots of schools maybe I know there are some schools that are better off than than others and do seem to have you know more books and things like that and it is it's it's it's, it's there's a lot of unfairness really with that kind of stuff and that's something that I, I am I'm passionate about trying my best to, to improve as well there's not much I can do about those things but you know but you know I, I certainly encourage people to use the libraries you know as I said I went to the library to get this book out you know after after seeing it on a program called Jack and Ori that's a program a bit like the, the CBB's bedtime hour but instead of just reading one book in one section they read the whole book over a week you know it's a shame that that program 
program isn't on the TV anymore because that was that was great. But using libraries, I, I don't know if you've got a, um, a, a library in your school. You, I think you mentioned a, a reading corridor in one of your letters there. So you obviously have reading areas, but getting books in is very difficult. I know that, I know that. So I hope you, you reach out as much as you can to your local libraries and seeing what they can do for you as well. And I, you know, I'm talking about coming and visit. I'm, you know, visiting... Um, at the moment, I'm not actually visiting any schools at all, which is heartbreaking for me. I have a, I have a, it's a strange, it's a strange thing to talk about, but I have, I have a problem with my legs at the moment. I'm, 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 I'm struggling to walk, but I am getting better. I am, I am, I am. It's something that's kind of crept up over, over a few years, but I am getting better. I'm on, I'm on some good tablets that the NHS is looking after me at the moment. So I'm hoping maybe next year, maybe at some point next year, I will be able to be out and about a little bit more and start visiting schools at some point so maybe in the future we can maybe talk about that but at the moment I'm not visiting visiting any schools at all which is such a shame because I do love visiting schools and you know maybe one day I would love to come and visit your school and you know talk about and meet you and talk about your passion for reading but yes I know that you know teachers are having to buy books in and maybe in your school to supply them you know I understand all those problems and I understand you know that uh, that that so, so many people don't engage with reading. I mean, I wrote. If you've done your research, you might know this. I wrote a whole series called Shinoi and the Chaos Crew, and some of these are short books, very short stories, and some of these are are graphic novels. With oh, because I used to I used to write my own comics when I was younger, so it was fantastic to to write some of these stories, and these are especially to engage young people who don't normally pick up books. Because I tried to make them as you know full of action full of adventure full of silliness as well you know to, to, to thinking that they might be the kind of books that i might have read when i was younger and because there's a whole series of them if you do read one and they're all very short then you know you might want to read another one um, so hopefully, you know, maybe, you know, you can ask your libraries, your librarians, if they do have any copies of Shinoi and the Chaos Crew. But yes, I mean, I, I'm just overwhelmed with all the letters that you wrote me. They were fantastic. Um, I mean, so, you know, maybe at some point I will speak to, to Mrs. Patterson and um, we can maybe sort something out to say hello to you, whether it's online on a virtual event you know that could be arranged quite easily i think you know or whether you know one day to, you know to maybe when i am up and up and about and able to visit schools you know who knows what can happen because i do understand your plight i do you know you are all ex extremely detailed and passionate and i appreciate that i really do it's lovely that you've investigated this and you've come across my name and obviously done your research i am absolutely flattered by that so in the meantime you know keep on writing and keep on reading with that passion that you have that wonderful imagination i hope you do explore some wonderful books if you are reading the great chalk plot please let me know how it's going i you know pass on those details to mrs patterson and them um, and i will try my best to respond i hope it's funny i hope it's silly i hope you enjoy it i hope you have extra chocolate while you're reading it as well that only makes sense doesn't it but um but yeah, I just want to say thank you. It, it was an absolute joy reading those letters. And I will respond. I will send a letter very, very soon. So in the meantime, enjoy your term. Have a great run up to Christmas and have a fantastic Christmas and all that. And keep on, keep on reading and keep on having that passion that you obviously have. Uh, and thank you so much. It is an absolute honour. So hopefully I shall speak to you another time. So take care now. Bye.